our guests give back to the community and especially your schools, our schools. Today, we are talking with Nashville Restaurant Radio about establishments that routinely give back. We are here with restaurateurs and hosts of the show, Brandon and Crystal. Welcome back, friends. Thank We're you. so excited. Number four. I know. Are we regulars now? We're on a roll, man. Love it. We are on a roll. We're not cooking so nice. <laughs> Okay, so but because we're talking about important things, and I really love this segment today, the angle. Brandon, let's start with you. Green Hills Grill is one of those places that we were just talking about that gives back. Explain how and why. Well, you know, this time of year, people go, school is back. We get into these routines every single week, the places we go. And as a local restaurant, we love that. That's, that is our bread and butter. Mm -hmm. And every Monday, starting in mid-August, uh, when schools are back at the Green Hills Grill, we donate 10% of our sales to individual schools. And you can see, I think they're going to put some pictures up, uh, where we actually, anybody that dines there, not just people from the school, anybody that dines. So we kind of want it to be our, our community moment when every Monday night, come to the Green Hills Grill and eat. You're helping out a school. That's so awesome. As, that feeling of giving back, and, and I know that you guys are both proponents of this, as you know, as we are too on Local On Two, shopping local, uh, dining local, you are giving back to your community directly. Okay, so from Green Hills to East Nashville, where yes. you're from. So let me tell you about the best East Nashville um, community hour at Lachlan Table. It's from Monday through Saturday, 4 to 6, and they give back to local PTOs, which is parent-teacher organizations, mm -hmm. and you know, if you're in a PTO, like reach out to your local restaurant because there's a good chance it's going to bring in business on like a Monday, mm -hmm. you know, or whenever when it's a little bit slower and we can give back a percentage to your school and anybody who dines is going to benefit. So we really need to support our local restaurants when we're talking about like, local, you know, these schools and supporting our schools, mm -hmm. community. It's really important. Okay, question, because I know you guys have said this. You say that, you know, groups will approach restaurants mm -hmm. daily. What daily. kinds of groups and how does that work on your end? I mean, there's so many different types of groups. Mm -hmm. um, if there's a charity event and they're doing a silent auction mm -hmm. or if it's a PTO that wants to reward somebody, whatever it may be, I get reached out like to. a sports team, too. Like, every like day, yeah. If sports it's a sports teams. team that, yeah. you know, a lot of times it's the Hillsborough soccer team or the Hillsborough mm -hmm. swim team or something mm -hmm. along those lines, and we want to support mm -hmm. that individual group. And this is us, one of the things we do, so one of our core values is we love our community. Not every restaurant has the capability to do this. So when a restaurant does give you a gift card, I mean, that's from that restaurant. I mean, yeah. the, the local mm -hmm. restaurants in our, in our area care about the community so much. They can't always do it, but for the most part, we really try and help out. In ways, mm -hmm. in little ways. In little ways, yeah. And at the Grilled Cheese Brie, like, we allocate a certain amount of gift cards that we can give away for, like, auctions uh -huh. or gift baskets or whatever. Like, it's, it's, it's great because it brings maybe new customers into yes. our restaurant. Yes. So I would implore you, too, if you're, like, a newer local small business, like, give a gift card away. Like, you're going to probably get customers you didn't normally have. Well, you know? it's so interesting, and, and this isn't a restaurant, but um, Sewing Down South, that new restaurant, um, the guy from uh, Southern Charm, I asked him, I said, what do, makes, um, uh, what would you say to small business owners to um, make sure that it's a success? And he said, make sure that you include a charitable element. Mm -hmm. And I think that's just like part of our ethos that we want to give back. Well, all of our community gives us everything that we are. Without our guests, we are absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, restaurants being a, a focal point of an area, Maribel in Brentwood is a local Ooh. restaurant for that community. And it's people who live within two and a half miles. So if we don't have them, we have nothing. And it's really our duty to give mm -hmm. back to the community that gives us everything. Mm -hmm. so yeah, true. I mean, and being in Hillsborough Village, I mean, we're very, our restaurants are very close to each other that we both own and manage. Um, we employ a lot of, like, they're teenagers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah. employ a lot of Belmont, you know, Lipscomb, Vanderbilt students. Mm -hmm. So these people see us supporting our community and they live in this community. It's very symbiotic, like, yeah. it's, it's wonderful. Totally. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, while we're here, she can't say much. She is opening up a second location. Very exciting. Do you it's see just my a exhaustion? little tease. <laughs> it's just a little tease. She can't talk about it. So when you can, you're coming I'm back coming to the back show. I'm coming back with food. Yeah, very good. <laughs> yes, all the cheese. Very good. Yeah. You guys rock. Thank you so much. It's I appreciate you, you both. Thank you. Everyone, learn the stories behind your favorite restaurants at NashvilleRestaurantRadio.com.